Hi kids, it's Jill, founder of Kids Baking Club, and today I wanna to show you how to decorate your Magic Mittens brownies. These brownies are so delicious. You are gonna have so much fun making them, but the decorating is going to be so much fun. So you need your little mitten cookie cutter, some frosting, some fun things to put on top. I used those mini M&Ms that are so awesome because they come in all different colors and you can have so much fun decorating as well as some mini marshmallows. Those are fun too. So let's get decorating. So once you cut out your brownie with your mitten cookie cutter, you're going to take your piping bag, fill it up with frosting and cut a tiny little hole right here. And now we're going to just decorate. And I want you to just make your own designs. I'm just squeezing a little bit of icing right here. And then I'm going to make some lines like this. Just going across, planting it, going across. Just like that. And then I'm gonna go the other way. If you make a mistake, just go over it like that. You see how I covered up those mistakes? And now I'm just gonna do some little swirls, just like this for the bottom part of the mitten. Just little circles, swirlies. And now we're going to add some color to it by using some M&Ms that I have right here. And I'm going to find red and green. So I am using a small little tweezer, but you can use your little fingers. This design is a little bit more difficult. First one I'm going to do is just go across here. And I'm gonna do little swirls. This is the bottom of the mitten. I'm just squeezing the bag just ever so slightly. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is turn what I'm gonna do now is turn the brownie upside down to make it a little bit easier. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is make some lines. I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna just make some thin lines. We're going to make a knitted mitten pattern. Just like that, perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just show you what you do is you start at the top, you go across and down, across and down. And what that does is it makes a little pattern that looks like it's knitted. Do you see that? I'm gonna do it again, cross, And there you have a pretty knitted pattern. Now we're gonna do a snowflake, which is going to be really easy. Again, I'm just gonna do some swirls right here. Makes it looks like it's knitted. Then I'm gonna turn the brownie upside down. So you're gonna go one down like this and stop. Then again, across and stop. Then one a little bit shorter and stop. And then another one and stop. And now you're just going to do little tops. They're almost like little V's. There 
go. And then you can add a little bit more detail if you want to, but I actually just like it just like that. So, so pretty. And there you have your pretty snowflake. The last one I wanna show you is a fun one because it really is just lots of swirls. And you're just basically swirling around, but not overlapping the other ones. So you just have fun. And if you end, just go ahead and start again. Just going to add here. And there you go. Very pretty.